Okay, today we are going to add some stop action script. So action script is like uh, basically computer code that just gives our animations um, or our websites when we get to that point um, just more interactivity um, and sometimes just um, some basic codes that'll make things a little more interesting, a little more active. In this case, we're just using the really, really basic one, which is just stop, because our animations will loop if we don't put these in. Sorry, I guess I'll share my screen here. Uh, I guess you should be able to see this now. So if we don't put this in, We've got our quotes, they're happening, you're using the mask tool, fades out, and then it loops, it starts at the beginning. So I want this to end on the last scene, so this is what I'm going to do. So I should call this one sound. <clears throat> so we'll go to scene three, or whatever is your last scene. Now, when we put the action script in, it'll It'll just place it wherever our playhead is. We can move it around later, but uh, just to make things easier, what typically happens uh, if there's something that goes wrong is people don't notice where their playhead is. It's at the beginning, and then they put in stop action script. They go to play their animation. They're like, Mr. Alstead, this doesn't work. This is, uh, this is not playing. Uh, so be mindful of where your playhead is. So I'll just drag it to the end. Now I'm going to, I don't have um, the panel that I need in here. I actually need two. I need one called Code Snippets. So Code Snippets, what's great about this is it's sub um, subdivided into folders, and then you can kind of go into that folder, find what you want, and then add add that action script in there. So I'm going to click and drag and drop that right in there. So I've got all that empty space there. Why isn't that docking? There we go. So the icon looks like this. When I have it over top of it, it says code snippets. So you can add that in. The next one we want to add in is actions. So we can put in our code, but then we also want to see what the code is. So the actions script panel will give us all the code here. We could type in code. So we have the option to do both. We can we can type our own code in or we can go to code snippets and they've they just use a lot where um, we could also edit the code that they give us. So what I like about um, this is that uh, I'm, I'm not big on coding. I don't love it, that's for sure. And I, and I probably wouldn't be too interested in computer science. I uh, like the what you see is what you get um, editor, so you, just, you can see exactly what you're doing. But for code, what I like is that they give us kind of these these subcategories and, and they'll give us ideas. You might look at something and go, oh, I might want to add this in. So in your timeline navigation subfolder, under action script, we're in action script. So when we switch to HTML5, which you shouldn't be in right now, because we haven't really started that yet, um, the code is different. So there's lots of different coding languages out there. Uh, they call them languages because it's it's similar to just uh, human language where there's a lot of different varieties um, communicating the same thing. So in action script, that's what we're using. We click on that arrow to twirl that open. Surprising how many students don't know what these things do. So we want to twirl that open. And then we want to go to the timeline navigation. We want to check what's in there. So we twirl that one open. And then first one we see is stop at this frame. So we just double click on this one. Now, I'll make this a little bit larger so we can read it. So it says scene three actions 
on frame 72. So if I go to my timeline, I can see frame 72 there. So stop at this frame. The animate timeline will stop slash pause at the frame where you insert this code. It can also be used to stop slash pause the timeline of movie clips. So what's important about this is this is not actually code. This is just like a, a note telling us what the code does. This is the code here. So code has to be put in exact. There can't be mistakes in it. If there is, um, it won't run properly. Uh, there's a variety of things. So oftentimes if your animation just looks like it's really like glitching and it comes out with some error codes, it's usually um, code related. And it'll tell you a lot of times what it thinks it is. And it'll tell you like there's an error on scene three, frame 72, line seven. So you have got you got to read those errors and then go and, and try and figure out where you messed up. But if we're inserting code snippets, then there's less likelihood that we're going to screw up here. So we're just going to leave this stop in here. We're going to collapse this by clicking on these double arrows. Now we can see a layer was created, a layer called actions. So it created this for me. And if I just move out of the way here, if I look closely at this, there is a blank keyframe. So that's the circle that's not filled in. So this is a keyframe, black dot, blank keyframe is uh, just a hollow dot. Right above it is a lowercase a that stands for action script. So if you're just looking at a timeline and you're trying to figure out where your action script is, visibly you can see it. So you can find that a. And sometimes we're going to have multiple sets of action script on one layer. But uh, for right now, we're starting with this. So as soon as I put that in, all I do, control enter, starts playing from scene one. It's my new favorite song. And it ends, no looping. Okay, so you're gonna put in stop action script today. I want you to, just take a timeout on whatever it is you're working on. I want you to open up all of your previous animations, and I want you to put stop action script at the end. So you're opening up the Ferdinand one. You're opening up the Spider-Man one. You're opening up the every every animation you created. I want you putting in stop action script. Now I would make sure that you dock that um, panel in there, so you don't have to keep going up to window because now it's in my workspace. I close this open it back up, it's there. The only time it'll disappear is if you reset your workspace. Okay, so like we added the scenes panel, we've got code snippets, action script, voila. Okay, I think that's it for today's meeting and today's lesson. Uh, we are going to finish. We are gonna finish our inspirational quotes today and tomorrow. I want to move on on Monday. We're getting closer to starting the final project, which I hope will be, uh, we'll see, hopefully next week, if we have to push it to the following Monday, I want to give like a full week to work on it. So um, there's just a couple more things we got to do. One of them is a classic motion tune. Okay, that's it for today.